Yo YouTube, Albie45 here, take two. Uh, I went in Walmart this morning, went in there to just go get uh, dog food, shampoo, stuff like that. Uh, my wife happens to be out of town, so I cruised back to Sporting Goods and was looking back here. I went back here primarily to look for what they had for 22 long rifle ammunition. So I picked some up and uh, was looking at their knives and uh, in their <clears throat> display counter and all they have you know my Walmart anyway it just has a name and a picture it doesn't actually have the knife in there <clears throat> and I seen they had the Kershaw Skyline $35 well I'd never actually seen one so I wanted to see it and he goes let me see if I have one he looks in his counter and he pulls out this knife and I pull it out of the box and I'm sitting there looking at it and I'm like, man, this thing doesn't look like a skyline that I've seen on YouTube. You know, it, it looks different. And he just kind of stood there, you know. And I'm looking at it and, and really liking the way it deploys, you know, the little flipper action and everything. I'm like, wow, you know, I said, I really like this. And uh, he goes, let me check something. And he walked to the other end of his counter and he come back with another skyline. He said, uh, this one is 30 bucks. And I'm like, huh. I said, it's 30 bucks? He goes, yeah. So he pulls it out. Well, that's the actual one like I've seen on YouTube, a regular Skyline, you know. And he's back here fumbling around and this and that. And pretty soon he goes, you know what? He said, he goes, someone put this in the wrong spot. He said, the knife that you're looking at first this one he said is on clearance for thirty dollars he said it's the old model of the skyline and the one that he got from the end of his counter was the actual skyline that was thirty five bucks he said this was the old model and I laid the two side by side and this one here the blade and I'll show you whenever I take it out if I don't forget is a little different it's just a little little thicker on the spine I'm like huh well I you know, fooled around with both of them. Uh, the other one, the $35 one, was lighter. It had G10s on both sides. This one has got G10 on one side, stainless on the other, on the handle. And I was like, that's weird, you know. So I'm screwing around with them, and I said, you know what, I'll take this one. So I'll buy the thing, buy all my crap, come home, take everything out of the sack, and I pull the box out. I didn't look at the box in Walmart, I just looked at the knife. Pulled out the box. <clears throat> it says OD1. Don't say Skyline. It says OD1. I'm like, what the flip? So, I was like, well, I felt like a total moron, you know. I mean, like I say, I didn't know, you know, if the, if the Skylines came in different configurations or whatever. But, uh, I don't think they do. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the knife that I ended up picking up. It's not a Skyline. It's an OD-1. But I'll tell you something. I really, really like this knife. Um, it's G10 on this side. And on this side, it's stainless. Okay, it's a liner lock. But this thing freaking deploys extremely fast. Um, the action on it, <clears throat> this right here, very, very smooth. It's just like butter. Just like freaking butter, you know. And that's the thing that impressed me when I looked at this first, thinking this was the old model Skyline, how fast that thing comes out. But this is what I wanted to show you before I forget. The width of the, of the knife blade between here and over here on the edge on this OD1 is narrower this way. You know, it's narrower. Or if you look at it like this, it's not as tall as a skyline is. This blade's got a little smaller dimension and height, I guess. Um, the width of the blade. Is, is thicker than a skyline. 
I was looking on this thing to see what kind of uh, metal it was, blade steel. This was a big plus too. Made in the USA. I don't know who. Uh, let me see, where's it at right there? Lee Williams design. I don't have any idea who that is. But the steel on this is a Sandvik. Whoops. Sandvik steel. I got a cheat sheet. I went online to yourcornerstore.com. They have a great website. You pull up a knife, it'll give you a lot of the particulars on it. I'm going to share that with you. There's the knife. OD1 black G10 and stainless handle. Plain blade. Your corner store price $43.38. Right there's the blade, plane, the length, type of steel, Sandvik. I've heard the name before, but I don't remember. I don't have any idea if that's a good steel, if it's a crappy steel, if it's a hard steel, soft steel. So I imagine that somebody could uh, probably chime in and say, yeah, man, that steel on that thing crap. But this is one thing that I did like is your corner store gets $43.38 for this knife. And Walmart had this on clearance for $30. I didn't know it when I bought it. I thought I was buying a $30 Skyline. But, uh, no, it wasn't. But this is, you know, very, very sharp. I don't have to go through, you know, that whole song and dance. Uh, like I say, I don't know much about knives, steels, and what have you. I mean, I can see that this clip, pocket clip, can be moved up here. But it can't be moved, I don't think, no, to the other side. It can't be moved to this side. So, you can have it like this, <clears throat> which I guess if you slid that in your pocket, that'd be tip up. Or you can mount it on this end, spin it around, then you'd be carrying it tipped down. But it, whenever I was playing with the uh, Skyline, the actual Skyline, whenever I would go to deploy this, it didn't come out nothing like that. I mean, I'm not putting any finger pressure or anything on this. No finger pressure at all. I can't get this thing out. Oh. I can just start rolling it out man I'm just I was trying to go easy and once it started it just flew right out there so anyway that guy at Walmart and I mean I understand you know that most of those folks in there are not you know highly trained <clears throat> on knives but he said the reason why this was priced down was because it was um, last year's model or discontinued model and it very well may be even though on your corner store I didn't see where it said you know soon to be discontinued or anything like that I don't guess that means it isn't gonna be but this is a OD1 model 1775 Kershaw liner lock made in the USA pocket knife there we go, there we go. Thirty bucks. Inventory prep. Oh, that's all that means. Anyhow, yeah, I would. Uh, you know, if I wouldn't have looked at that box and I'd have come down here, I'd have been, you know, showing this to you guys, saying, "Oh, this is my uh, Kershaw Skyline. You know, this is the one that's got the stainless steel on this side, G10 on this side." And, <laughs> most of you guys been out there going you stinking dumbass you don't even know what the hell you got and that's what I would have done too if I wouldn't have looked at this box and seen that I would have oh man I'd have felt like a total moron kind of feel like a moron anyway not realizing this wasn't a skyline when I was in the store looking at it but oh well anyway lanyard hole oh that's what I want to do let's get a weight I don't know what this thing weighs. Lots of times, or I thought anyway, 
that uh, your corner store gave the weights, but uh, they didn't have it on this one. Let's see what the weight of this booger is. Let me go to three point three ounces. So to me, this knife is not heavy. It's relatively thin. Let me get back over here. Let me unzoom. Let me tilt down. Here we go. Sorry about that, folks. It's relatively thin. <clears throat> Let me see. I got my Spider Codelica 4. Let's try and compare the spines of these two. So right there you can see the width difference between these two knives. Not a lot. I think that Kershaw is just a hair hair wider. Boy, not much. You start looking at the overall length of them. I'd say that's pretty stinking close to identical right there. Yeah. So, for all intents and purposes, this is about the same physical size as a Spider Code Delica 4. But it is going to be a little heavier. Let's see what that. Delica 4, 2.7 ounces. So, <clears throat> this one is a little heavier. That stands to reason having this stainless steel on this side. But the freaking. Boy, that's fast. I freaking love that. Love it! Anyway, y'all, just wanted to share this with you. Um, any of you guys have this knife or know about that Sandvik steel, I'd appreciate a little information on it. Good steel, is it going to rust easy, does it hold an edge good, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, anyhow, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching, appreciate the subs, definitely do. Um, y'all take care. And we will see you later. Bye.